What's going on my PT peeps from Walking Dead family and my fighters. I'm one Eyebrow, also known as PT, and I'm back to talk about The Walking Dead. And in two months from today, The Walking Dead will be back. Well, actually, it'll probably be back on February 21st for AMC Premier members, but if you're not an AMC Premier member, you'll see it on probably Sunday, if not Monday, but we're about two months out from the return of The Walking Dead, and I'm super excited. It's getting there. We're getting closer and closer, guys. Spoiler warning for The Walking Dead as a whole. I don't know anything for you, but first, guys, if you can, please hit that subscribe button to become a valued member of the PT channel, Walking Dead family, as we post Walking Dead videos every day. Also, guys, hit that join button to become a member and ring the bell to get notified when we post videos every day. Now, The Walking Dead will be back before you know it, and the back half of season 10 is hopefully action-packed and I got questions. You got questions. We need answers. Who are we going to lose? We better not lose Jerry. That's for sure. We love the guy. But we all know we're going to lose some characters this season. For sure, we're going to lose Michonne. What's going to be up with this battleship, cruiser, something, naval ship? And is it going back to Oceanside? Away from the area? Is Michonne on this boat when she leaves to wherever she goes if she survives? I hope, hope and really hope that she survives and she's reunited with Rick in the movies in some way, shape, or form. Because if Rick and Michonne aren't reunited, if Rick does not see Judith again, or something big does not happen between all three, I'm going to be disappointed. But we'll have to see what happens with Michonne. Are we getting flashbacks? The hair looks like we're gonna get that. Are we going to see where she started from and where her journey ends? I really hope so. She's my favorite character, so we'll hopefully get a good, satisfying ending for her on the show. Is this gun one of the many guns, hopefully, that Michonne brings back to help save the day? Who are we going to lose here? We see Scott. We see Father Gabriel. We see a bunch of people. There's going to be a battle, hopefully several battles, at Hilltop, Alexandria, and in the back half of Season 10. Are we going to lose people in the battles? Who are we going to lose has a lot of people wondering who makes it into Season 11, and beyond. When is The Walking Dead gonna end? Hopefully not for a long, long time, because I do love the universe and the zombie genre. Is Rosita going to survive into season 11? Is she hallucinating when she sees the Whisper inside her house in the room inside Alexandria? Is the Whisper actually there? What's up with the pig nose and the pig face and the oversized mask that doesn't fit right? And hopefully in two months, we'll find out right away. What's gonna happen with Negan and Alpha? Does Negan kill Alpha? Does Alpha survive? Who becomes the new Alpha if Alpha goes down? Is there going to be one? What's going on here? And is it possible foreshadowing of Alpha's death? We all know Alpha's gotta go, right? How is she gonna go? When is she gonna go? And who takes her down? Is this the kiss of death for someone? And why is Rosita smiling and Eugene is overly cautious to kiss her? At least that's what I got. Is it a dream? I can't wait to find out. And is this a dream? I hope not. I hope it makes sense. I personally hope that Negan is reunited with Lucille and he takes the fight to the Whispers and Beta in a major, major way. But I know the break sucks and our goal is to make the break a little less sucky for the two months that remain until The Walking Dead returns for the back half of season 10. But next year in 2020, we're gonna have 42 episodes of The Walking Dead universe, which consists of The Walking Dead, Fear the Walking Dead, and The Walking Dead third show that's called The Walking Dead World Beyond. I'm super excited for 2020 and hopefully you are too. So thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate it. Two months will fly by and it'll be here before you know it. Happy holidays. And for those interested in my zombie apocalypse book series, please check out Fight For Us on Amazon.com. You can check out the link in the description below. I hope you join the fight and tell them, Daryl. Yo, we love you guys.